it's uh, six o'clock on August the 17th, and I'm going call to call to order our um, regularly scheduled select board meeting. Uh, first thing is set adjust agenda. I'd like to make an adjustment on the agenda. Can I do that? Yeah, go ahead. Now's the time. Or not the agenda, sorry, the minutes from last meeting. No, you can't do that yet. Adjustment on the agenda is um, we need to remove item five. And okay. we'll move it to the September 7th meeting because we're just not ready for prime time yet. Okay. Looking forward to that, though, when we get to it. Um, any other changes to the agenda tonight? Uh, could I have a motion to uh, amend the agenda to remove item five? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, so we have our agenda. Next communication from the audience. We're a little <laughs> thin on the ground here for with audience. <laughs> um, next, select board to approve minutes from the regular select board meeting of August the 3rd. Um, <coughs> and it sounds like Obi had a correction. I made that correction. You made that, it's all corrected. I okay, I just want a correction for the record. <coughs> yes. The Gazette takes our minutes word for word. The last set of minutes said that we bought six properties in the FEMA bio, and I checked the minutes, and that's what it said. So I just want to make sure oh, that we, I've identified six potential properties. So there's there has been no purchases in which, that program. Which we understood. Right, but it's, it well, was yeah, in the agenda, right. it was in the Gazette. Yeah. We sent uh, instructions to the cabinet and fixed the minutes. Okay. And you have the correct set of minutes. Yeah. Wait, so these are, this already, they're already corrected. Yeah. Already corrected. I just want it for the record. Got it. Yeah. Right. Okay. We're good. Any other changes to the? Oh, well, that's not a change. That's just a alert. So, uh, Septimus Grit. Yeah. You're moving to accept moving to, Yeah. Yes. Second. Uh, excellent. Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes as written from last time, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. So we have approved the minutes from last time. Next up is a town manager report. Do we have communication from the audience? I don't know. Oh, wait, that's my stat. Never mind. Oh, good. Yeah, sorry. I'm just figuring it out. Okay. Um, so we had a, the stormwater system down here in the North Main Street parking lot. Um, we had some, a da some damage. Um, the apparatus in that first manhole was damaged, so it's been removed by the company <coughs> putting in that installed that we purchased the stormwater system for mm -hmm. the, the conservation district. So that repair has been made, um, and that was likely the um, contributing cause of the manhole cover popping off and the washout and the damage um, to that parking lot. So I had someone ask me last night if, if we were going to have to dig that up to repair it, and I said I thought it was all internal, the repairs, right? The, the, all of, everything that we repaired, we could get to. Okay, just that's what I thought. They're just confined space entries. Yeah. And that system, I found out that it's the largest, that apparatus is installed, and in, in this system is the largest that apparatus has ever seen. So. There was some design flaws that they have, they're correcting and, and paying for. Okay. And then we're going to put that on a, a FEMA project, the damage. Yep. Okay. Um, just a couple things for the wastewater. So the state, uh, the state of Vermont is going to put out bids and enter into contracts with a contractor and with the towns to inspect sewer lines at no cost. So the state is gonna pay to inspect sewer mains, sewer lines, to make sure that nothing was damaged. Um, and that's gonna be a program that they're gonna roll out. Does that mean cam sending camera down? Camera camera statewide or? Statewide, yeah. or the, well no, the, or the, flooded. the affected areas. The affected areas. Right. So right. they can identify any areas that yeah, were damaged. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's good. good. Yeah, so that's a... Well, there's a lot of pipes, like, you know, one that was down by the log yard, that a lot of towns have them in places where they're not readily seen. They may not be right. noticed for... Right. 
a year. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. And it or also, the damage may not be noticed. Right. And it's also inf infiltration of groundwater and stormwater too that contributes to the flows at the plants. So yeah. I think that's great mm -hmm. yeah. that they're doing that. And we'll surely sign up for that. Um, I had last Wednesday, I had a meeting with the USDA. Um, about the wastewater facility. A lot of my time lately has been spent on next steps for the wastewater plant. Um, USDA is potentially, nothing is written in stone. Um, and they're, they're, they're still trying to figure, um, the FEMA still has to do their steps, but um, there's a possibility that the state would enter into a program with USDA to to get the, the funds to redo those three plants. So Ludlow, um, Hardwick, and Johnson. So there's gonna be some information coming down the pipe on that. And we're front and center on it. So to, it, to bridge it, or was it well, <clears throat> to fully fund it? Potentially fully fund it. Oh, great. Yeah. So, so the federal agencies would team up together. Right, um, but that's after FEMA's mitigation. They had a fairly positive meeting with the director assigned to this area today about the wastewater plant. So they're very interested in mitigation efforts because this plant has been flooded out four times. You know what, since the Time 90s. to fix that. Yep. Same with Johnson, right? Yep. Probably. I mean, Johnson's Probably, been right. Yeah, I know. Johnson's been rebuilt. Like Johnson's had an upgrade. Since, yeah, since over the there. years. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then last week I put out an RFP for a temporary bridge on Fisher Folly. Mm -hmm. It serves a single residence, but um, that's our bridge. So we'll likely have a special select board meeting to accept those bids once they come in. I haven't received any yet. The deadline is next Wednesday. The sun's going to be done at ASAP. Yeah. yeah. And then um, there's a group of folks that have signed up to assist others with FEMA grants and denial claim. Uh, um, like, what's the word I'm using, like, to help with denials and stuff like right. that. Um, so there was a FEMA 101 volunteer um, class that a bunch of people took, and then they're going to be in this building on Saturdays from 12 to, from 10 to 12, and on Wednesdays from 5 to 7. So that was put on the website. And is that just a walk-in thing? Yep. Okay. Walk-in, and we've, um, we requested the USDA be there for home um, repair loan or home repair grants. So they have some programs. So oh, wow. that's going to be kind of a, a, a good thing for the community. So hopefully people utilize that. So this will be in the memorial room? Yeah, downstairs. Yeah. So the there's um, there's a website post and then neighbor to neighbor group is heading it up with some local volunteers. And that should be a real positive thing. Mm -hmm. so. So they'll so publicize it. Appeals. Appeals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So they'll, neighbor to neighbor will publicize it too, then I assume. Correct. They yep. have. Yep. And so we put it on our website. Great. Yep. It's awesome. That's all I got for now. There's more, but. <clears throat> so what about cleanup of the river yep. corridor? I just. Yeah, what do you know? So people ask me about. Uh, the Wilkins Street and also the people from the motel are trying to do something with that. They're that's... working on their own demo plans for that. They're, just, they're not having very much luck, though. Oh, I yeah. talked to them this morning. Oh, did you? They've got a plan. Uh, they were just, they had a, a contractor and the, his excavator broke down. No, that's fine. So as they couldn't get it there. But it is starting, it's we... still, it's listing. So. Well, that's it. It's, that's um, from right. my perspective. That's <laughs> like, there's going to be more of it. And the river. The right. river. Right. If we don't do something. Um, we're working with the, with the DEC to get um, for the river corridor yeah. to get a plan in place for well, that. Well, that's what I was just wondering. There is going to be a state plan for that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's just wanted to make sure I was telling people yeah. the right thing. 26. Yeah. We're hoping. On the yeah. And then there's like a, there's like a green up effort. On yeah. The, that, so, that's going to be only on public property. Yeah. Though. Public property. So, right. but Tracy's put up, put our put Hardwick's name in for yeah. the you know the area beyond the private property and hopefully yeah. we'll be able to coordinate some. Right. Well, I mean, unfortunately, the area I'm the, talking about is going to take a lot more than a, 
orange bag. The stuff that's right. in oh, the yeah. river. Uh, uh, the stuff that's in the river. Is in the be. river, cars. Yeah. Available. That's going to have to be. Propane tanks. The easy. Yeah. Big um, things. So there's, there is, I noticed there's a, there's there's no, I've been telling, I've just been telling people there is going to be a plan. Yep. Yeah. We got to get, mm -hmm. you know, that's nothing. I've had several uh, phone calls with the state EOC about it. Yeah. And everybody knows about that tree that's like jammed <coughs> behind the, against the bridge behind the laundromat. I just noticed it this morning. Mm -hmm. There's a tree that, yeah. Okay. You mean the North Main Street Bridge? Far uh -huh. Okay. Upstream or downstream? Well, the the upstream. Mat, so on the the upstream. upstream. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Not to look. Yeah, it's it looks pretty precarious. Okay. Yeah. I just don't. Don't climb it. it. <laughs> 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 on the side and yeah, like right. by the yeah, it's poking up. Good job. Yes. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Next up is Tom Fadden with the road foreman report. So you fixed the sewer oh, line. Yeah, I mean, the sewer line stuff was this week. We've been down to Cooper Brook the last two and a half days there repairing that sewer line down to there that was all exposed. So we had to, we hauled in, I don't know how many yards of stone. I mean, some of them, I think, were bigger than the excavator. Uh, but we got that done today, this afternoon. So that's so, the, that line that goes from the, the from lift the station? station to the horse main. Yeah, it's four got main exposed. It got exposed. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah we had maybe 150 feet of bank gone, I think. So that's all done, that's all taken care of. So that sewer line is good and protected again. Uh, we finished that this week. Uh, grading wise, <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't been much going on besides a little spot right here and there and some wash wet and stuff, trying to, trying to get those fixed. Uh, and on Monday we did get a little bit of asphalt, just try to patch things up around the village like where it kept washing out down below in the parking lot. So that sealed up good down through there. Couple places on the sidewalk here, and then the rest was went up on center road to get that. Uh, I do got more culverts ordered. Uh, hopefully, they'll be here tomorrow. Uh, 50 feet is for center road. Then I got some on Moore Lane, uh, Tucker Brook, and I think that's it. I think those are even maybe one section up on the Dutton Road that we got to fix. Uh, last week, uh, let's see, we did get Belfry completely done. so. Bring them covered up there for the crossing and stuff. Ditch work, everything up there is done, ready and prepped for getting ready for payment. I did get in contact with EJ Hutchins. So he's good to go. He's going to come back into town and show him. I've got to show him Center Road, uh, uh, West Hill, and Belfry so he can hit those while he's here. That was the other thing that we fixed actually it was Center Road there, right next to the guardrails. So we got that all restoned right next to the bridge there in the dip. On the so dip, that yeah. thing's all completely done and stuff, and got, got some stay mat there for now in, in the roadway so we can dig it out easy enough. Which is, what's the story with that bridge over there? Is that something we got to wait to have it re-engineered and stuff? Which one's that? Right. That, that one. Harvard Farms? Harvard Farms. Yeah, that's one of the ones that was on our hit list there for uh, uh, the state to come through. It's going to be all like all study and everything yeah. on. Yep. Yeah. Opening up, I don't know. Did you... Do you get the culvert that's up towards? Yeah, you did. Okay. Which one? By the Kish Farm. Past Kish's that. I, that might on Center Road. On Saturday for. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's got, a layer, of, it's got a layer of black off across it right now. Yeah, that's one of the ones that I just said that we've got to get 50 feet for to replace. Culvert yeah. failed yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The old culvert's pretty well rotted and gone right there. So. That's what so happened. Then, yeah. Yeah. Those you just got. Yeah. Hold your breath when you go over it. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. Like, I got a phone call about it on Saturday morning. So. I think it was a dump truck that involved me, but <laughs> it wasn't right over it. Good thing you didn't have a plow on. <laughs> Good thing you didn't have a plow on. <laughs> you could have done it any worse than I was out there on Route 14. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, so that's bad. I mean, next week, uh, we're going really to get a plan. Last week, uh, we sucked out all of the stormwater systems. Including the one down. Yeah, then we had a, then we had another water leak we had to go fix. Then we had to go down to the sewer plant and fix the water line down there and shut off gate bells and stuff. And yeah, I mean, it's just one thing right after another right now. Yeah. Um, but next week, our plans are to head for Tucker Brook Road. 
Uh, we've got a six foot culvert there we're going to do up there, and plus another 18 inch culvert up there that we've got to do, and then we're going to fix down through. While they're doing that, uh, you guys are going to go up if weather permits. So far, it looks good. Uh, we're going to start right there, and we're going to have a grader going up Smith Farm mm -hmm. and putting a new layer of uh, uh, gravel up through that, and then they'll swing over and fix up uh, Tucker or Tuck Brook and we get that patch. We'll get that done, then we'll come back to Georgetown, then we'll head for Bridgman. I gotta go up do Hunter Lane, Reno Road, and Culver Crossing on the Moore Lane, and then a section down through Cobb School. You'll be busy. Yeah. Hopefully it yeah, stops raining a long. Right. Yeah. It needs to stop raining. Yeah, so that's plan of attack for trying to get those roads back. And before anything else happens, I gotta get out on Cary Road. Uh, we do got that water main that's exposed over there. Yeah. I already talked to say about building like a small little copper dam right there just to try to raise the water level back up. So it goes through the box culvert to cover that uh, plate back up for the winter. So that's not a place where you want to get a temporary bridge? They looked at it. Yeah, they said it's all said unwinded it. and everything. It's okay. just yep. all right. it's a complete rip out. And the, their temporary bridge inventory isn't, I mean, that's a... It's not landlocking anybody. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate all your all your efforts. Yeah, you guys been doing good. You've been yeah. busting bus. Yeah. Big thank you to the community bank and a yes. for gift certificates to all the town employees. Nice. To the right. House of pizza. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we appreciate it. So. Yeah. Well, we got twenty five of them. Not all of the town employees. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A lot of town employees. All right. No subcontractors either. <laughs> no. Cookies. <laughs> you got cookies. Um, all right. Next up is the Hardwick Police Department report given by Mike Henry. Uh, Mr. Hart. So we got the cruiser that went out for the new engine uh, that got flooded. Uh, that went to Twin State. Uh, Unfortunately, when we got it back, halfway driving it back, we check in when it came on. I uh, got it back here in the office. It was not dried out like it was sent to me. So sent it back to them, and uh, they're still working on it. Um, that was over a week ago. They fully used new coil. Uh, I asked them about, you know, the other, underneath if that's been dried out. No, no. We'll pull the mats out now, the flooring, <coughs> get that dried out. So I think I'm going to have to put uh, new flooring in there, um, just because I'm concerned about yeah. mold and that kind of stuff, and then having problems. So I told them to take care of that. Uh, hopefully insurance will still cover that, I'm not sure, because they made us pay before we took it. Well, we got the reimbursement from the insurance. Right, we're going to get the reimbursement from insurance, but it's not fixed. That's the problem. So that's the bad news to figure this out. I'll start off with that. <clears throat> The, uh, <clears throat> we did a uh, joint training with uh, Memorial County uh, active shooter with school stuff uh, uh, last weekend, and it, it went really well. Learned a lot from that, just doing live scenarios uh, over there, worked with state police, Memorial County Sheriff's Department, Morristown, and Stowe. And we've got a good working group, amongst all of us now, uh, we're trying to do training that way. Uh, been in contact with the schools here, just kind of get things set up for the school year. So um, things are going pretty good there. Um, with the uh, uh, been working with, with Tom too. We're going to try and get those. I hated to ask Tom for this, but uh, we have those radar signs we need to get put up. So he's ordered the poles for those. Uh, we're going to put uh, down one of those radar signs, the solar ones down on South Main Street uh, near the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Reason being, trying to get people to slow down before the school zone. Yeah. And also, we need to have light there. Uh, you know, if we go back a little ways, then we got a canopy of trees, and I don't think that's going to work for solar. Uh, same thing with uh, we're going to put the other way down uh, across from Tops, uh, so like eastbound into town on Route 15. That'll be the other solar one. So we'll still keep moving. The uh, signs around. We have two portable signs that will move around. One right now is up on uh, it's on Harbrook Street as you're coming south in in there where it turns to 25. Uh, the other one we have on Spring Street 
and then we've got the one uh, that we've been having problems with uh, down on Mill Street, and we're trying to get that one fixed again because that's not even a year old. We're already having problems with it. So uh, just trying to get those radar signs. I think they do make a difference. I was just going to ask, do you see them making a difference? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. Um, it keeps the, the, you know, the people that are paying attention to their driving, when that flashes, they slow down. Good. Yeah. It doesn't catch everybody, but. So I think the other thing, uh, you know, and I know Tom's really busy, but we talked about going out and starting to, you've got all the signs now for speed of the signs, we'll try and get those up and in the places that we, we've been collecting, but uh, mm -hmm. he's better than busy. <laughs> <laughs> but he did order him down in the end, so we're good to go. Great. I, I just want to add to one of our officers has taken um, a large amount of check, fraudulent check cashing oh. cases, and he wanted me to say in a public meeting to urge businesses to ask for an ID when cashing a check, because um, that's not mm. being done in all places. So I think he's going to put out a press release too on that. Just be leery of checks. Mm -hmm. Huh. And chats. Yeah. So they still use those. I know. <laughs> I was surprised too. The only one that's using them are the crooks. <laughs> so be leery. It's not yeah. true. We <laughs> take checks at Whistle and they're always yeah, good. I'm just kidding. So far, so good. Hey. I feel uh, that's all I got. All right. It's getting ridiculous. Thanks, guys. All you do is wave your credit card by the machine and take some money right out. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Um, I have a hard to collect report on here, but we'll just keep rolling because we don't have anyone from Art of Electric. Uh, so, yeah, that wasn't, that hasn't been the report a lot. Oh, no, we are not. <laughs> Those days are over. Uh, so, first is item one select board to discuss and review the request from the Hardwick Food Pantry to be added to the coin drop schedule for October in 2024. That's uh, I moved that we add them to the it's, yeah. that's the one that was in the email. That was the right? empty yeah. slot. Empty, yeah. 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 Another move that we allow them to do that. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, so motion carries, that's all of us. Next, um, item two is to review the updated hazards and mitigation actions for the local hazard mitigation plan update. And uh, we have Paul Luciano, Luciano on the line with us, and he's the consultant who helped us prepare this update. So, I. Am I coming in clear? Yeah. Excellent. Um, so, for the updated uh, uh, profile hazards for this plan, we have severe winter and ice storm, flooding and fluvial erosion, and all that comes with that, dam breach, inundation, uh, potential landslides, extreme temperatures, both hot and cold, and infectious disease, as much as we want to forget, um, put that behind us. I think it's important for towns to keep that in, at least for another planning cycle. Um, and we just as a just as a point, um, FEMA really only wants the profile hazards to be natural hazards. So if there's something like the last plan had hazardous materials listed, it's really a vulnerability for the town. Um, and so anything that the town wants that's not a natural hazard just gets kind of shifted to a vulnerability. Um, and I don't know if you have the document I sent. There are goals. Um, I'm not going to read those. There are, I think, seven or eight bullet points. Um, it's essentially, to paraphrase the goal before we get to the action, it's just what you're doing right now for the July floods, um, you know, across the board for all the profile hazards, but also um, emphasizing keeping it on the radar. Uh, and, and examples of that are things you're already doing, most times you're already doing it, where you have a flood resilience um, section within your town plan and just incorporating it into uh, municipal government standard operating procedures. And that's all, you know, spelled out. It was spelled out the last plan and continues to be spelled out this time as a requirement. And for the actions, 
I'll go through the the general headers, um, and I think uh, perfect for this. We'll just kind of cruise through the what we have in there for the July floods. Um, there are specifics associated with each of these actions within the general plan. I normally don't read those uh, in this meeting. Action one is to reduce vulnerability to flooding by evaluating capabilities of existing road and stormwater management infrastructure, public education, and municipal services and regulations. And we'll bounce back to that one, but I'll just go through the rest. Action two is to improve resilience in severe winter storms, that includes ice storms. Action three, reduce impact of extreme hot and cold temperature durations. Quick segue, there was an article uh, specific to Vermont and that climate mitigation doesn't really help help um, municipalities prepare for the big event. So I think that's an important distinction um, as climate change is, is really on the radar, but still there's uh, there's much to be done, as you all know, um, to reduce the impact of large flooding events. Number four, raise public awareness of hazards and hazard mitigation actions, and that kind of diffuses through all of those. Uh, something Harvard's doing a fantastic job of with your community partners. And reduce risk and impact of major infectious disease events. And right now, for this, a lot of that percolates down if the town is still utilizing any kind of COVID funds, if it's still in the works, even if it's just grant reporting, um, you know, that, I think that fits in there nicely. And then going back to number one for DR4720, the July floods, um, it's likely that recovery will stretch into the next planning cycle, which will be five years from the point of Phoenix, Phoenix final approval. Um, and here's what we have, they're very general, and it's all what you're doing right now. Assess conditions of infrastructure damage and destruction for triage action. Assess and develop strategies to reduce risk of water system failure during flood events. Uh, maintain adequate records, grant management to maximize FEMA public assistance for eligible infrastructure projects. Um, that probably should change, or just add, you know, any funding that's available. Um, I don't know if CDBG, DR will come back into play, but um, it was during, after our meeting. Um, help some towns move their town garage, so that, that can be a substantial piece. I'm not sure if that's going to come around again, but there are some other funding available. Um, USDA. Uh -oh. um, has some as well. Assist and coordinate recovery paradigms for individual business. Again, something we're doing a great job with, um, with your community partners. Collect lessons learned and develop innovative measures to reduce the impact of climate events. Six, create and improve debris management response plan. That's coming down from the state right now. Um, utilize, and then the last one, utilize and incorporate best practice guides for the creation and implementation of enhanced planning and response initiatives. And um, ACCD has some, uh, a toolkit for that. And um, also, FEMA has some good, um, well, that's the last slide mitigation, but FEMA has some good suggestions as well. And I'll, I'll stop there and take any questions. Back, no, we're we're just hanging on. <laughs> it's a fast ride. Okay. <laughs> very good. All right. Um, so that I'll just very briefly. Uh, it's in review. We, we submitted in time for the town to maximize its ERAF uh, match rate, um, and it will come back. We'll do some edits and we'll send it back, and then the, you will you will once it's uh, approved by the state, you'll make a motion to adopt. Once it's adopted, I add that adoption page to the plan, send it off, and we'll stamp it, and you're good for another five years. Okay? Okay. 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 So, All right. So tonight we need to do what? Tonight, just capture the fact that this meeting happened in the minutes. Okay. Uh, and I think Casey has already alerted the public that this, this is happening and that the public has an opportunity to review draft as your surrounding towns have been notified as part of the requirements. Um, so just capturing this in the minutes. Okay, great. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Uh, Appreciate it. It's an amazing document. Yeah. I just, A little intimidating. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I just skimmed so far. <laughs> and there's, um, there's an effort right now, I guess if the damage statewide exceeds like $115 million, our reimbursement rate goes up to 90% through FEMA. That's good. That's good. Yeah. 
115 million doesn't seem like a whole lot these no, days. Considering that Barry and Montpelier. Public are private? Yeah, Barry and Montpelier. Yeah, <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, they don't have to Barry. I was in there yesterday. Yeah. It's a sad place still. Yeah. Yeah, it is bad. So, that's I mean, it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, X, it's awesome that um, Paul was able to get that mm -hmm. data yeah. for and us. And the funds for his consulting came from the RPC. Oh, good. The, what? the, the Regional, Regional Planning, Planning Commission. And VDA. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to move us on to item three, select board to review and consider approving interim zoning by bylaws due to the flooding. Um, They're in the package. Yes. The, so is those the interim, does the definition interim mean that they're going to be there forever? Or? No. So why is that there's temporary? An, there's temporary because they would only run for a year. And the idea is to, to do a test run almost to see how they work to implement them in the future in the normal bylaws as a trigger event. So if a federal disaster declaration is made, yes. these are the rules that will okay. come into play. They're not to, they're not to circumvent the, the rules that are normally in play, but rather to look at the fact that right. we're talking about people who have mold and are not able to live in their homes, etc. So we're right. trying to streamline yep. the process. Line of fast good track. Sense, but it will have, yeah. eventually have a trigger, which is already occurred this time. And this time it already occurred. An interim bylaw technically is not supposed to live forever. It has an right. end date in this, yes. of one so. year. Um, and the end, you, it's, it allows you to see how it works, basically. Mm -hmm. Good. This yeah. has not been vetted by the um, attorney yet. Uh, the state's attorney also had not finished vetting. One of the concerns of the state attorney, the, the attorney for the state, was that there's no definitions. I cross-checked this entire thing. All of these definitions are in our bylaw, and this becomes part of our bylaw. So, I doesn't would, need its own, then. Huh? Doesn't need its own definition Does section, Does not then. need its own definition. I think their concern is that there are towns that do not have the same level of bylaws, and we redid our flood bylaws just like five years ago. Yeah. So yeah. fairly recently. in dire need. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you guys want to do, if you want to have a special meeting after the town attorney reviews it, or if you want to make a motion to approve it based on, on contingent upon I make approval. a motion that we uh, approve it based on the uh, approval of the attorneys. Be done with it. Second. Any more discussion? I thought it seemed pretty straightforward. So. Yeah. And I will point out that this is uh, taking people to a higher level than we currently require. We are currently at at base flood elevation or above, mm -hmm. this requires you to be at two, two feet, feet above. Two feet above, yeah. So you're already, and it's, already, it's going to the state as well. So it's not, it's not as though they're just allowed to do whatever they want to do. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one that I have that would, would fall into this category, they pay for a uh, surveyor to come out, their packet has gone to the state, they're waiting for the state's response. You know. Yeah. All right, so we have a motion to approve <coughs> pending attorney sign off. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. Um, next is item four, select board to authorize waiving zoning permit fees for floodplain properties for the next 180 days. That actually should be zoning and other fees, uh, because it's recorded fees that are actually what are. What is killing them? Well, huh? Yeah, that's, yeah. Like right now, I don't actually charge for two or three of these permits at all. It's a recording fee I'm taking in. And I'm, I'm, I'm keeping track of which ones have already come in without the recording fee, and I'm working with Tanya on that. Mm -hmm. But if we're, if we're asking people to return these, asking for them to return without any monetary is, is a lot easier. It's more important. I have 70 of these that it's I need more to part, Wow. More important. Yeah, if you go down and look at my desk, it looks like the blue folder file the factory blew up. Um, yeah, and I'm not like six or seven have come back. But I'm because we're, we basically want and need these to be returned. We need these to be returned yeah. because the other uh, um, problem would be if we don't have them returned, um, FEMA will be coming in a year or so, and if they do not have, finally so, do not have these, 
we get kicked so out. So the reason that we ask for fees generally is because of your time, you know, the administrative time it takes for them. So if you're well, good with it, I'm good with it. Well, well actually, actually it does that. cover costs. There are some that will, right. where we will be putting out monetary, like having a hearing, we have to post it in the newspaper, etc. It's not just my time. Um, it covers but our costs generally. I think it's something that we can um, request to recompense from FEMA for permitting, private permitting. Hmm. I mean, we're, we're unless you Well, I, I think it's a good idea because we want people to. How, how would you edit this statement, Kristen? Zoning and recording fees. Zoning and recording fees. So, so moved. So, so Danny moves that we authorize waiving the zoning and recording permit fees for or fees for floodplain properties for the next 180 <coughs> days and retroactive to the flooding event. Yes. Okay. Well. Second. Good job. All right. Um, so, any more discussion about waiving those fees? We need to encourage people to record all that stuff. So. All right, so all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you again. I'm going to ask my Lair. Explosion of <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you. You don't need to for anything else, right? If we, we always need to. <laughs> 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 Item six is select board to authorize the town manager and town clerk to act on behalf of the town in matters relating to its loan from the Vermont Municipal Bond Banks. 2023 series two bonds of which we had two the library and the gravel pit so moved second uh any discussion um, all in favor please say aye aye, aye. aye. i have one um, any so opposed I need to see Motion carries document and then the bylaw the adoption of the interim bylaws i need all of your signatures please if we could just take a moment yep yeah do you want me to sign this uh, it's Eric. Signs that one. Chair. The bottom one. And you have one now. Um. All right, that's coming back. So next, we have another authorization. Um, did you vote on that? We did. We did. Everyone said aye. Aye. <laughs> And nobody Thank said nay, and the motion carried. For the age. <laughs> huh? um, yeah, let's do it. Item, item seven, right? Mm -hmm. Six, really. Yeah, item seven, which was item eight. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading. No, this. they missed you all from the sideboard one. You're right. We haven't done the item seven, that should be item six or whatever. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the next item, select board <laughs> authorize the town manager to be the town's voting delegate for VLCT, passive, and verb. That's so uh, moved. No one involved in it. Second. Uh, any discussion? What does verb stand for? Oh, verb. Very easily employee, retired. Uh, employee resource benefits. There you go. Great. Yeah. I've actually never heard of that one. Vermont Energy Resource Board. What is All it? right. Just pull that oh, wait, so we had a motion and a second. Yeah. All in favor of authorizing the town manager to be the town's voting delegate to the VLCT stuff, please um, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next is select board to consider providing a letter of support for Jasper Hill Farm for a grant application for their food venture center location, letter to be done by the town manager uh, for the, in support of the grant. What grant application to what? It was in our um, folder. No, I didn't see it. Okay. And it's, uh, it's a 25 page grant application to the Vermont Dairy Business Innovation Council. And basically what it says is that so I did spend way too long reading it because it was long. Um, but basically it said they're asking for money. They are, so they're, they're shifting things around a little bit. They want to be able to make more soft cheese. So they're going to move some current activities out of the Food Venture Center, like their cold storage. That's going to move to the Yellow Barn. Right. They're renovating their area 
at the Food Venture Center adding a couple silos that sounded like they're outdoors mm. and uh, they're going to be able to make more cheese in there, but they're asking for money to do that. Good. More cheese production there? More cheese production. So they can pay farmers and they're gonna premium, premium for, their, for their milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of having it be paid on which they currently do, but they'll right. be able they'll be buying more they'll milk. Use more. Yep. More. They'll be buying more milk. Yeah. I so I don't have a problem with it, but we did have the discussion about, you know, making sure we knew what we were writing for others for, so as long as we're comfortable. I'm not reading twenty five page application. <laughs> Well, I read it and I was comfortable. Yeah, then that then that's yeah, fine. fine. We supported another this. We supported like another grant to this program that piggybacks off of the, this other grant was the initial grant, and then this piggybacks off of that one. Yeah, and right. part of the reason for our policy right. is so that we know we know that we're, we're not you know that we're they're not having competing. Conflicting Why would we not have another grant person? Like this letter? It's not. Oh, the letter. The letter, not. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know. Well, I move that we provide I, the, the letter of support. Letter. <laughs> we wrote, you move that we provide the letter. The town provides the letter of support for yeah. this grant. Yeah. Do we have a second to that? Second. Yes. Uh, any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 And opposed. Motion carries. Select board reports. Tonight's the last concert of the chamber players for the season. Can we still make it? it yes. It starts at 7.30. Yes. You could still make it. You could possibly make it. Um, you could help supper and make it. Amazing. Yeah. And then another uh, townhouse thing. So Kaylee and Jeff have offered to give us a apple tree that will replace the one that died. Um, and the board last night voted to uh, accept that gift, but it's it's in the art, so it's town property. So I just want to get an official a okay. Sounds front. good. Is it going in the front or back? In the front. Yep. Where the there was one there before. Right, right now. where the dead one is yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Where is that? By the driveway or on the other side? In it's the front. Toward the yeah. neighbors of this. Oh, okay. Side. Yeah. We moved it. It was. We moved oh. it. It was remarkably. It had survived, and it was. A move. It had gotten planted next to the old sign, and it yeah. was yeah. So when we did our new sign and everything, we moved it, and it didn't. It survived one year and didn't make it through the next. So. Okay. <coughs> It'd be nice good. to have a tree there. Go for it. Um, I will report that there's a official groundbreaking ceremony for the Yellow Barn tomorrow, 11 a.m. Oh, in the pouring rain. Perfect. <laughs> well, I'll keep the toxic waste there. Shh. Just going to the Yellow Barn. Yay, there you go. I know. That's what I thought, too. But it's looking good, though. It's got concrete under it. I heard a lot of people that are really... Um, that are not nearly as... I don't want to say against it. Yeah, they seem to be getting a little bit of enthusiasm mm -hmm. seeing it. Happy the air, spread out, concrete going under it. So yeah. I hope Their skepticism good. has diminished. There you go. Very good job, right there. It's, they were not, you know, but we got to keep it moving. So. We, yes. Yeah. Air is working tirelessly. Tire, Tiredly. Yeah. <laughs> Tirelessly. And tiredly. <laughs> All right. Eleven o'clock tomorrow. Eleven o'clock tomorrow is a groundbreaking what, ceremony. Patrick Leahy and some other. Patrick folks. Leahy, um, yeah, and folks from representing yeah. others. Yep. So. Everybody yep. Yeah. Yep. Great news. All of them deserve it. Yes, I should show up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and it's going to be wet, so bring an umbrella if you're coming. It's going to be wet again, God. Dang it. <laughs> or still. Jesus. All right. Uh, any old business, new business or old business? Uh, we had a little bit of success with um, uh, communicating to the downtown businesses that it would be helpful if their staff and employees didn't park on, actually on the strip of Main Street, that they like move to further out, mm -hmm. so that we leave that more for customers. Um, and it was, uh, it seems like it's helped. Yeah, I think it's you guys did a great uh, job. I was very happy to see those exchange of emails. But I think um, uh, we'll, we'll 
we're going to keep working on whether or not how many um, handicap spots we actually need to have. Yeah. We wanted, I wanted to set up a time and talk with I mean, OP and tonight, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I do this? The, yeah, last yeah. night was the same. It's the court report. Yeah. It's still packed. Yeah. So, so it's great. Yeah, and people right. average. I'm sure you guys see that back up there. In that two hour window no. works out pretty well for the for the restaurants. So yeah. But I think we need some more signs, you know. I think there's only like one that, so know, did, yeah. <laughs> that says two hour parking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so But we're working on it. Yeah. Communication with folks down there is great. Well, I'm That's not been effective in the past. We all communicate with each other about the problems and not just yeah. so the outside picture like right. that. Right. That's my fact. Right. All right. So, um, could someone make a motion, motion to, to go, go to executive session? Pursuant to? Pursuant to 1 VSA 313 for personnel matter to include town manager and police chief. So, second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, so we're going to go to executive session and we're going to your office.